What's up guys, welcome back to the VW Backyard Build. Today's video, I'm going to answer your question on how did I get that 298 cam to work off that carburetor. Before we get into this video, I want to quickly explain to you something here. What you're looking here at is 26k. So, here's my question. Will you pay 26k for this or not? Before you answer that, let me go through the specs and explain to you what's up with this car and then you can make up your mind yes or no. But I know some of you guys will probably just look at this and say, no, it's not worth my time, it's not worth my money, I'll rather save a, another 20k and turbocharge it. Okay, it's a 1.8 motor, naturally aspirated, 2 litre fuel injection cylinder. It's closed up at the back with an adapter plate to run the 32-36 Weber carburetor on it. It's got a 298 cam from Estas with a 12.1 lift. It's got a 4-speed gearbox, uh, branches and a free flow system. It's an old school build guys, there's no dictators on this thing. There is the fuel pump that still works off the engine block, how cool is that? Um, to answer your question, how did I get this car to, to work with that carburetor is simple guys, it's old school. Your fathers and great grandfathers used to do this back in the days on their Ford Cortinas with a 36 DCD or a 38 car, uh, Weber Cobbs that used to, both barrels used to open up at the same time on the 38 Webers and they used to have cut cams and stuff and they used to tear up the roads with those um, Ford Cortinas. This is basically, the, it works off the same principle. It's an old school build. It's going to start. My only concern was, is it going to run lean? So, I driven a, I drove the car around for two weeks. I've taken the spark plugs out. I've checked it. And it's a little bit lean. But it's only when I really put my foot down to 6,500 RPMs, then it starts running lean. But otherwise, it is perfect. It is fine. It's not too bad so it's not worth my time taking the cob off playing with jet sizes and all that kind of stuff it's it's 100 right so i'm happy with that fuel economy uh 16 liters um on 160 k's that basically gives me 10 kilos on a liter that's through town um, so some of you guys will probably say that's 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 bad that's heavy on fuel but for me it's not too bad um, especially with the 298 cam um, is it worth the fuel economy that I'm using now is it worth it yes definitely it's worth it um, this car actually is pretty quick robot to robot it's not too bad it's pretty impressive um, I hope I answered your question guys and um, Drop me a comment, will you pay 26k for this or not? Uh, thanks for guys for watching, I'll see you next time. Cheers.